Will here with WTF Car Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing this all-new 2022 Volvo XC60 B6 Inscription. And before we start, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Rob and the rest of the management and staff here at Tampa Volvo for making this review possible. They have an impressive dealership. I'll leave a link to it below. And if you're looking for a premium vehicle in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out. And for those of you guys who don't know, the XC60 has been Volvo's compact luxury SUV since 2008. That's when the first generation was released. The second generation, which you see here, was released in 2017. Here we have the B6 inscription trim, which is the top of the line. The XC60 is available in five different trim levels with three different power plants, starting with the B5, making 247 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. The B5 comes in three different trim levels. The B6, which you see here, is only available in the R-Line and the inscription, which is the trim level right here. The B6 makes 295 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque with a similar mild hybrid two-liter turbocharged setup. And there's also a plug-in hybrid variant for the XC60. Here for the inscription trim level for the B6, starting around 59,000 bucks, Let's see what we get. So up front, you notice your full LED headlights with a really large daytime running strip cutting through the center. Black headlight housing, gorgeous metallic white paint. Really, really pops in this Florida sun. The inscription gives us some nice chrome trim surrounding the grill. I'm usually not the biggest fan of chrome, but I feel like Volvo really made it look very, very premium. You see your Volvo badge in the center. I'm also liking that arrow on the Volvo badge, how it integrates really flushly with that slash in the grill. Front parking sensing, pretty good airflow for this two liter turbocharged four cylinder motor. We'll take a step back. You can get a really good sense on this vehicle's front end. As far as the wheel and tire setup, I'm also really liking these rims. Here we get these really nice silver and black contrasted 20 inch rims, black lug nuts in the center, wrapped in 255, 45 R20 Continental Cross Contact LX Sport tires. Some of the best all seasons in the business and this vehicle does have all wheel drive. Continue along, the mirrors have an LED turn signal on them. The glass fills up most of the frame, blind spot monitoring in the corner. Everything's body color too. Chrome surrounding the window trim included for the inscription trim level. Blacked out B-pillar, pretty dark tints out rear too. Smart access for all four passengers. Same wheel and tire setup out rear. However, the only difference will be the smaller brake caliper. Volvo signature, LED taillights, reverse light in the center, XC60 badging. Shout out Volvo cars here in Tampa, Florida. B6 all wheel drive badge on the side. Volvo in the center. It would be nice to get the rear wiper integrated with the spoiler, kind of like what Hyundai's doing with their new cars. As you notice, an additional little camera right below your spoiler. Rear parking sensing, of course, but we'll take a squat back here. Start this 2022 XC60 B6 up and hear how this two liter turbo sounds. All right, guys, that was, of course, the sound of the two liter turbo sold by Volvo for the 2022 XC60 B6 all wheel drive inscription. As soon as we figure out this latch, we'll pop it right up. Thumbs up for the struts. It opens up really, really high. If you guys notice, almost like a completely vertically opening hood. Really don't see that very often. But as far as this power plant, of course, 295 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque. Enough to get this all wheel drive luxury compact SUV to 60 in around 5.7 to 5.9 seconds, making it a really impressive performing SUV. But what you see is basically what you get. You notice the aluminum stick connecting your true strut towers should really ate when it comes to the handling. No supports in the center, but really, really impressive design back here. We'll shut this hood right up. It's gonna be kind of tough since we had to go to the side of the car, but boom. Right now you should get a great sense on the front headlights and daytime running lights. The front styling on this SUV is really impressive overall. As far as the interior, also impressive. Let's hop right inside and check it out. So as far as the door panel, everything's soft touch, of course, even for the bottom portion, soft touch from the bottom. Really don't see that very often felt on the inside too. Very solid storage too. You should probably get a big gulp in there and a foot long right next to it. Super soft Napa leather armrest. Very good storage here too. Auto one touch for all four windows. Harman and Kardon audio system, two person memory seats, lock and unlock, and a really nice chrome aluminum grab handle. Another additional Harman and Kardon speaker beneath, Volvo aluminum uh, nameplate as we step inside, and the seats, really beautiful Napa leather seats, perforated leather. There is an available wood trim option too. However, the cooled and ventilated function is not available with the wood trim seats, but really impressive overall, the adjustability right here. You can recline, drop, lift, and slide the seats beneath. Four-way lumbar control, as well as adjustable bolsters, not bolsters, thigh support. So very accommodating 
for people with longer legs, but let's really check out the interior on this 2022 Volvo XC60. And first thing we notice is the steering wheel, really thick leather wrap design, solid 10 and two bolstering notch, nine and three, just about perfect in your hands. No flat bottom, but still really liking the steering wheel design, rubberized horn area with your Volvo center cap. As far as the horn itself, pretty aggressive sounding horn. People should definitely be getting out of your way. The steering wheel is outlined in this really nice aluminum material, cruise control settings on the left side, on the right side, voice commands. You can change this infotainment display, which as you notice, we currently have a nice display of the map. This is a beautiful 12.3 inch screen. Digital speedometer on the left side, gear indicator on the right, shows the fuel level beneath and our advanced safety features, lighting and external thermometer up top. You press this pages button and it changes the entire layout, now we have a 130 mile an hour digitally illuminated speedometer with a 6,500 RPM tack on the right side. So you can adjust between the two. I personally prefer looking at the map at all times, so we'll leave it here for the purpose of this review. Auto headlights, auto high beams, and rain sensing wipers, great features overall, and the stocks, very satisfying click. To the left of the steering wheel, more of this wood, beautiful trim is gonna continue throughout this entire interior. Even for this bottom portion, we'll pop it out right here. Really absolutely gorgeous interior. To the left side, you also get your interior brightness and trunk release. On the bottom, uh, your hood latch release beneath and no power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, unfortunately, that should be expected for the inscription trim, but you can tilt and telescope the steering wheel right down over here. The dashboard, all leather stitch trim, Harman Kardon speaker too. Really, really beautiful design. More leather stitch with the wood trim, aluminum surrounding it. Absolutely gorgeous. You notice your nine inch touchscreen over here. It's gonna be a vertical layout, similar to the Ram 1500's 12 inch screen. I'm kind of liking it. Kind of reminds me more of the Prius in this vehicle, but it's still a very nice touchscreen. We can check out everything that's available with this touchscreen as far as the Google Maps. Pretty cool feature. So we get the map for the heads up, which is really useful when you have the GPS set up and the map for the touchscreen, unbelievably responsive, excellent resolution, huge thumbs up for Volvo. The, the cooled seats however, make quite a decent amount of noise. So we'll turn them down right here so you guys can hear a little bit better, but they also work very, very well. So I would recommend going with the Napa leather seats as opposed to the wood grain seats, unless you're living in colder environments where the cooled seats really don't really matter. But anyway, it's kind of tripping out over here because we're underneath this canopy. So the GPS is kind of all over the place, but we also get Google Assistance, car status, Play Store, phone, Bluetooth media player, all these really useful features. Climate adjustments, you press this button down here and it redirects you to the climate screen. I kind of wish they gave us actual buttons for the climate control. You have the windshield control, defrosters and skip shortcuts down here, but I kind of wish that the climate control function also had some buttons beneath. Not a big deal though, you press this button, it returns you home. My personal favorite to look at at all times would be this map. Really liking these vent controls too, very high quality resistance. This is one of the best luxury cars I've ever been in, in my life, really impressive. As you notice, the gear selector, which controls your eight speed auto transmission says, uh, or for Sweden. So I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe that's like the factory that built this vehicle. Let me know in the comments section below. So use this gear selector. You put your foot on the brake, of course. One click back puts you in reverse or neutral. One click back puts you into drive. One click forward puts you back into neutral. One more click puts you in reverse. And as far as the backup camera, unbelievable resolution with some of the best in the business, guidance lines and trajectory. Full 360 parking sensing too. No 360 camera. Would be nice to get one for the inscription trim. Uh, but still really, really nice setup to put it back in park. You simply press this button. Uh, but as far as the manual shift controls, we do not get paddle shifters on the inscription trim. The manual shift controls, you triple click back. And now you can adjust between um, downshift and upshift. Those are manual controls. It's not gonna be a back and forth function. So pretty funky, definitely unique to this vehicle. Putting it back in park right there, pretty useful. And the start stop immediately shuts the motor down engine start stop button right here to activate it you turn it to the right electronic parking brake with auto hold this wood trim too super high quality it's going to be grained and a really nice texture overall we open up this cubby by pulling it back wireless charging pad two cup holders with a pass-through good spot for your iphone an additional little storage pocket which exposes a 12 volt and a little bit of storage for your coins pretty good spot for a radar detector to put it back you just push it and same thing right over here leather wrap napa leather wrap armrest very soft high quality material you open it up the center console space pretty impressive i would expect you to fit between five to six 16 ounce cans pretty deep pretty spacious uh two usb c ports but that's really about it no usb ports um outside of that in this front seat 
The glove box, we can pop it open right here. Massive, massive glove box, wow. You probably fit like six or seven textbooks in there, let alone license plates. Lined with felt, and I believe this glove box has a cool function where the AC redirects some air here, so if you have some drinks that you would like to keep cold, very useful feature. Rear view camera, frameless, three garage home link settings on it. We get a panoramic moonroof too, not quite sure how to open. Okay, there we go, so you just slide your fingers and the shade opens right up. Not a hard shade, so it may let a little bit of light into this cabin regardless of whether or not it's open or not. But as you see, the glass is absolutely massive. We, we accidentally tilted the sunroof, but we'll open it up completely and exposes a pretty decent amount of air. As you see, it goes to about the headrest area for the rear seats. It goes even further than that. Really impressive sunroof, guys. We could poke our way out of here. Absolutely gorgeous day today in Tampa, Florida, sunny and 75 right now. We can shut this moonroof up by just simply sliding our finger forward and it closes right up. We'll leave the shade open for the purpose of this review as we hop out back, should give you a good idea of how much light is brought into this cabin. But that's about it for this front seat area. Unbelievably luxurious. We can check out this window sticker real quick, see any features that I may have missed. But again, you have your 2022 XC60 B6 all wheel drive inscription, two liter turbo E-charge direct injection engine, oof, mouthful, 295 horsepower at 5,400 RPM and 310 pound feet of torque at 2,100. You get an additional 13 horsepower from this 48 volt mild hybrid system with regen braking. However, that 13 horsepower is not included in these numbers because that number is mainly used for the lower RPMs, whereas this 295 figure is used at 5,400. Eight-speed Geartronic automatic trans with start-stop, all-wheel drive with instant traction, double wishbone front and integral link rear suspension, anti-lock braking system, ABS with hill start assist, advanced electronic stability control, dynamic chassis, electric power assisted steering, and these 19-inch inscription alloy wheels with all-season tires. However, this vehicle does have optional upgraded 20-inch rims, as you see right here for an $800 upcharge. 12.3 inch progressive digital driver display with two display modes, column and navy mode, nine inch integrated touchscreen, four year subscription to Google Automotive Services, which includes Google Assistant, natural voice recognition, Google Maps and Google Play. So that's interesting. So this navigation after four years expires. Pretty interesting guys. Harmony Kardon premium sound system. It's a fantastic system. I can't demonstrate it because of copyright purposes, but you can take my word for it. This sound system is incredible. USB-C ports, two front, two rear, no USBs, no USBs as we mentioned, or USB-As. LED headlights with DRLs, AHBs, and ABLs. Blind spot information system with steer assist and cross traffic alert with auto brake collision avoidance featuring low and high speed collision mitigation, defects vehicle, pedestrian, cyclist, large animal. Uh, interesting, again, very interesting and detailed window sticker here, guys. Driver alert control, run off road protection, run off road mitigation, lane departure warning, lane keeping aid, oncoming mitigation by brake front side and curtain airbags with driver side knee airbags whiplash protection system whips in front seats connected safety includes slippery road hazard light alert uh, rear park assist camera with front and rear park assist power child lock rear doors automatic braking after collision luxury and convenience includes for your standard all-wheel drive inscription model laminated panoramic moonroof with power sunshade napa leather upholstery or tailored wood blend seating surfaces as you mentioned if you go for the tailored wood blend seating surfaces which are gorgeous gorgeous seats you lose your ventilated front seats heated front seats on all of them bright chrome bars and front grille with chrome window trim integrated roof rails power front seats and front memory included power lumbar and cushion extension too side support only available with napa upholstery keyless entry and drive with illuminated door handles front and rear park assist home link garage door uh, transmitter four zone automatic climate control with clean zone body color rear insert with a chrome bar you can see all the additional features right over here the inscription features that are included for this all-wheel drive inscription base price sitting around fifty six thousand four hundred and fifty bucks not cheap but considering this is a good performance suv with a ton a ton of features and great luxury amenities as well inscription includes this bright chrome bars in the front grille with chrome window trim napa leather upholstery or taylor wood blend seating surfaces heater front seats ventilator front seats which are only available with napa upholstery 19 inch rim standard power front seats include power lumbar and front seat memory cushion extension front seats power adjustable side support front seats only with napa upholstery interior high level illumination wood deco inlay uh, tailored dashboard, Harman & Kardon premium sound, home link garage transmitter, power folding rear restraints for the head, front park assist, and the metallic paint runs you an additional 700 bucks. 
200 for the power operated tailgate kind of odd that that's not standard on the inscription but it's only a 200 dollars premium protection package for 670 20 inch five spoke rims for 800 destination charge about 1100 total vehicle price sitting a tick under 60,000 bucks fuel economy pretty impressive 21 city 27 highway 24 combined mpgs but that's about it guys especially for the front seat let's hop out back see how much space is offered back there as well as the overall quality of the materials all right guys stepping inside the xc60 b6 inscription up top everything soft touch even for the bottom portion the soft touch continues pretty solid storage really soft napa leather armrest very good storage for the grab handle too auto one touch great door handle and two speakers for your harmony card and system on the door the seats very well bolstered for a rear seat the padding goes out almost the entire door frame good thigh support too as far as legroom i'm six feet tall sitting behind my seat settings and wow i still have at least four or five inches of space plenty of room for my feet guys cargo nets behind both of the front seats four zone automatic climate control there's two modes back here two usb c's right down over there really impressive guys very comfortable seats well bolstered you get a center cubby with a really large string to open it up uh pretty good spot for an iphone you have a little center console area where you can probably fit an additional three maybe four iphones not lined with felt not the biggest deal either the cup holders you push them right out over here pretty impressive guys what you see again is basically what you get let's check out the trunk real quick and then take this 2022 xc60 v6 inscription out for a drive all right guys to so step inside the volvo b6 inscription you simply press the tailgate release button and it opens right up massive opening and a very low step in height as you see i'm six feet tall my knee is right about the same height as the step and so if you have older or smaller pets they really shouldn't have much trouble hopping back here uh, but again really impressive back here you don't notice a subwoofer which is odd not located on the inside of the trunk either but still really impressive audio system you get a decent amount of secret storage down here too you can open it up next to around your not full-size spare tire but a pretty large 20 inch donut uh, but again really impressive cargo area if you drop those rear seats down which they fall 60 40 split i would expect you to fit between a 70 maybe even an 80 inch tv back here very impressive when it comes to space you can press this button back here take another step back and as soon as the tailgate closes we'll take this 2022 xc60 b6 all-wheel drive out for a drive all right guys now we're just about seeing everything we need to see with the inside and outside of the all new 2022 volvo xc60 let's take it out for a drive yeah it took me a second to figure out that seat belt but throwing it into drive again you double click to put it into drive with this gear selector and you double click forward to put it into reverse uh, pretty interesting really don't see that very often in other vehicles but first thing i noticed is the steering extremely extremely light at least in regular mode but we can take a step right over here lean into it about a third of the way oh good power wow really strong guys and it's very responsive too as soon as you start to lean into it this thing just really takes off yeah i was not expecting it to be that strong um, i know this vehicle has 310 pound feet of torque and 295 horsepower which is impressive numbers on paper but the way that this car makes its power because again it has the electric assist which really shoves a lot a lot of power down low so the way this vehicle makes the power really really impressive and stepping on the brakes super responsive brakes this vehicle also has regenerative braking which aids with the brakes overall but definitely impressed all right stepping right here we'll throw it in a little bit faster than we should wow very sharp handling super limited body roll and yeah the gas pedal is extremely responsive you have a very very good amount of torque as soon as you start to lean into the pedal and as far as ride quality you have a manhole cover barely even felt it very very soft ride we'll step on onto the rough concrete pavement that we always do for this channel and we'll really check out see how the sound isolation is in this car but so far i'm extremely impressed we'll check the windows right here um they kind of take a long time to fall down if you don't notice well yeah they're not dual pane windows so re really impressive that this vehicle is as quiet as it really is but we have a red light coming up right here should give us a good opportunity to try an acceleration off the line and i'll catch back with you in one second all right guys off the line Ooh. yeah this thing can move and over the bumps super soft ride manhole cover barely even noticed it the 
Isolation on the road is super, super quiet considering this car only has single pane windows. They're really thick single pane windows, but still, this car is quieter than most vehicles we reviewed on this channel, even the ones that have had dual pane windows. And you're stepping out into this multiple lane highway, about a fifth throttle, daily, daily gas pedal. Great torque, going to about 2,700, already at 45 miles an hour. Really impressive and cruising around like 50 right now on the multiple lane highway. Basically silent, really impressive isolation in this car. And one more time, we'll throw it in a little bit faster than we should get a good look at this car's body roll right here. Yeah, it has a really sharp feeling turn in. And this all wheel drive system really makes you feel planted to the road. But I'm gonna throw in the POV camera, try to give you guys a first hand look driving this car and I'll catch back with you in one second. All right guys, stepping back out here in the B6 all wheel drive description. Great torque. And we'll really test out this vehicle's luxury capabilities as we step out onto this a really rough stretch of concrete pavement. Lean in about a third of the way. This car rips. Very smooth ride. Very quiet too. Impressive. It's not, it doesn't feel like a boat, like, like the Ram 1500, like Mercedes S-Class. It, it's not gonna feel like that, but for a sporty feeling, sporty handling SUV, the ride quality is fantastic. Kind of reminds me of the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. This car doesn't feel quite as sharp as the Stelvio, but it also feels a little bit more luxurious. So it's a good trade-off. If you're comparing between, if you're looking for an SUV like the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, I would definitely cross shop with the Volvo inscription. This car is really impressive as far as like body roll, basically none. The turning radius is absurd. We're still not done turning the steering wheel, guys. Wow. Ridiculous turning radius. About a third throttle. Great torque. Especially as soon as you initially lean into that gas pedal, this car just feels so strong with the help of those electric motors. Uh, but we'll come to a complete stop right here, try an acceleration off the line. I'll try to give you guys a good sense on how this vehicle really performs. Fix this water bottle because it's kind of like flying around all over the place. But all right, off the line, just on the gas. Ooh. Wow, yeah, not the quickest shifts. We don't have to push it a whole lot farther than that. The shifts aren't very quick, but they are super instant and direct. But as you see, the ride quality is truly phenomenal. It handles these pretty large bumps so, so well. All right, brakes work good. Huge thanks to that regenerative braking. Wow, that water bottle's really flying around today. Yeah, great torque. All right, guys, back out onto the multiple lane highway. We get to speed so quickly. And such a quiet interior. Really impressive SUV overall. I would definitely recommend checking this car out if you're in the market for a luxury compact, not even luxury compact, mid-size luxury SUV with only five passengers because this vehicle has a ton of space in the interior. I fit in the back seat with really no problem whatsoever. The luxury features in this car are fantastic. I think it has a beautiful look on the outside. I would definitely recommend it to anybody looking for a five passenger luxury SUV. All right, one more sharp turn in. We'll throw it in a little quicker than we should. Wow, that bottle really flying around today but it's super impressive guys. Sharp handling, the all-wheel drive puts the power down fantastically. All in all guys, this is a really impressive luxury SUV. I know it's a little bit expensive starting around the $56,000 mark, but you're really getting a lot for the money. The performance in this car is surprisingly, surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting it to feel as quick and as strong, especially down low as it does. Really impressive when it comes to performance. The handling is great. Not quite as sharp as the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. So if you're looking for like the top performer in the segment, I would still say that the Alfa Romeo Stelvio packs the most value when it comes to performance. However, this uh, Volvo XC60 packs the most value when it comes to luxury. We got the chance to review the Mercedes GLC, Alfa Romeo Stelvio, BMW X3, and this car is by far the most luxurious as far as the interior out of all that we reviewed in this channel. So really impressive when it comes to luxury. The performance is up there too. I think this car performs just as good, if not better, than the X3 with the two liter turbo. I think it performs almost as good as the Stelvio. The Stelvio is a really, really impressive compact SUV. So it really depends. If you're if you're in line with the luxury, if you 
are more focused on a luxury SUV, but you still want some good performance, this is the car for you. If you want some nice materials in a very good performing SUV, then I will send you towards the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. But both cars are fantastic. Really impressive car. I just wanna give a huge thank you one more time uh, to Volvo Cars in Tampa for making this review possible. And a huge thanks to Rob. I'll definitely recommend anybody looking for a premium vehicle in the Tampa area to definitely check these guys out. Really impressive dealership. And huge thanks to all you guys for watching. I had a great time making this video. Really impressive car. Truly surprised on how impressed I actually am with it. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe if you've already subscribed. Thank you so much. You guys know I have endless gratitude for all the subscribers. You know the channel is just not possible without you guys. And I really appreciate all of you for your constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's any specific cars or trucks you'd like to see reviewed in this channel too. And I'll definitely try to get those videos for you as soon as possible. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope all of you have a great day.